Hi guys, it's Ash Paws. Welcome back to another video. vlog so today I'm gonna do another vlog and I haven't done one of these meet Ashley's face on the starting of the video and then the pet stuff vlogs in a while so I'm gonna do another one so the guinea pigs are doing good looks like they're gonna need a cage clean pretty soon and I ran out of veggies for them <laughs> so um, earlier today for breakfast they got some grass and herbs and they really liked it now I think they're they want more food. Big cheeks. You're so cute. So, Gigi is going to be with us for one year on September 19th, I think. This is what I've got set on my calendar. Um, so this is this is when we got Kiwi, which was the second. Was it not focusing? Focus. Thank you. Okay. Okay, it's focusing. <laughs> It carries the gotcha day is the 23rd, and Gigi's is the 19th, which today is the 16th, so that is in three days, and I can't. And of course, I'm going to make a special video just for Gigi's birthday, because it's going to be very special. Uh, it's not really her birthday, it's more like her gotcha day, because I don't know her exact birthday. I don't know when she was born. I also don't know how old she is. This is what happens when your guinea pigs are from pet stores. You don't know how old they are, and you don't know what their birthday is, but <laughs> oh well. I don't think she's a young guinea pig, I think she's pretty um, matured, but she's not like a senior yet or anything. Lexi is probably maybe a little bit more than six months. I'm not sure how old she was when we got her, she was probably maybe a couple months, maybe even a couple weeks, probably a couple months. She was really tiny, but she might be a little bit more than six months, so she's probably close to a year, um, so she will probably be approaching like one year old on her gotcha day which is in January 2018. 2018 is only in a few months. Why do the years go by so fast? Carrots is probably older than Gigi and Pixie. You know she's bigger, she's a bit mellower. I'm not sure if she's like a senior pig. Like she's not super old or anything um, but she seems like more mellow than the other pigs. Um, because, you know, Pixie and Gigi are kind of crazy, but, um, her gotcha day is four days after Gigi, because we did get her four days after Gigi, which we should have gotten them on the same day, but, hey, I got guinea pigs, I didn't understand a whole lot, but now I have three guinea pigs, so they, Gigi has company. Yes, you can't wait for your birthday, can't you? Anyway, so, um, here's the shelves, some vinyl tiles, I'm not gonna do on the, cut me off there. I'm not going to do the vinyl tiles on the bottom because that would just be a disgusting um, floor of like poop and pee and the guinea pig's feet would like get urine scald. So I didn't want that to happen. Oh, Pixie, you're letting me pet you. Hey, little carrots. So I thought it would be a good idea to put them on the ramp instead. And as you may know, the tiles are not the size of the grid. So what I had to do is cut a little bit off of two other tiles and put them on two sides of the big tile so you can kind of see the seam which is right there and there's a little notch in the corner and that's the same with all the tiles like this one and this one and carrots really likes that one over there um she was laying on top of it and it became like slippery because <laughs> she peed and pooped everywhere so I'm just thinking what a nightmare that would be if that was on the bottom of the cage. So, yeah. I had to get Todd a new wheel because this one's like almost dead. <laughs> it's kind of broken. As you can see, the wheel's coming off the spindle. So we got him this nice All Living Things wheel, which is 825 inch. So that's 8 inches and 3 quarters. And this one is 8.5, so that's 8 inches and a half. You're probably wondering why in the title there is Lincoln Updates. 
but I will take So I let Lincoln outside today, and he's in the dog's sex pen. And he was sleeping in that box for a while, and looks like he is up and trying to escape again. Seems like he could kind of fit in those bars. <laughs> but basically, we lost him for like three days because we put him outside, and then he got lost. And yesterday, I found out that our neighbors had him. So he went next door without any of us knowing. So I had to get Lincoln from uh, next door, <laughs> which is a um, pretty cool adventure for Lincoln. I don't know how he got over there, but he did. But yeah, he's just been on the grass, and, and his water tub is over there, his cardboard box. Put another one of those vinyl tiles down, and the ants are invading his apple. If you're wondering what those things are, those are hibiscus leaves, and they're very nutritious, and he loves them. He might want to go back in, or just have freedom, and be outside and go wherever he wants, but I'm not going to let him do that, because I don't want him going next door again. Yeah, hi Licorice. So, I don't think he can stay in this X-Pen all his life, because, you know, it's too small, and I don't think... Um, that would be good enough for him, and also it's the dogs, but we could train the dogs to stay in their bed without an X-Pen, because somebody likes to pee when we're asleep. But I was thinking that I could make a wooden, kind of like a tortoise table, but outside, like a wooden tortoise enclosure with a lid, so no predators can get in, and I hope he'll like it. And I haven't really developed the idea, but basically it's going to be some rectangular uh, wooden thing with a lid and a hutch. Um, and with very natural, I don't know what that was, very natural scenery and furnishings, or not furnishings, like very natural, uh, what's the word? I was going to say establishment, but I mean rich enrichment. So it's going to have a lot of good enrichment, even though he's not really outside, I mean, even though he's not really, like, crawling around our backyard get lost he's still like outside with fresh air with nice enrichment so I hope he enjoys it and he's been in this X-Pen for a while now and he seems to enjoy it so if you have Russian tortoises or Mediterranean tortoises I think Russian tortoises can eat these these are the hibiscus leaves I'm not sure if any other tortoises can but I definitely look into it um, and they grow in these big trees with little red flowers and the flower colors can vary um, but this is just the type that we have this one's a really big tree, um, the leaves are really big at the bottom, and I'm probably going to plant one of these in his area, but just keep it small, um, so it can give him nice shade, and by area, I mean that wooden thing that I want to make him. We can call it a tortoise enclosure. Here's another variation of hibiscus, it is a beautiful color, I love it. So I'm actually drying out some rose hips for the guinea pigs, and I've had these out here um, for probably like a week now almost, and they're drying out pretty well, and the guinea pigs really like rose hips. So Pence here is the same as usual, loves his new tank, and he loves his new plant and his gravel and everything, and he's thriving. We ran out of blood worms, the only thing that's left in this container is like dust. So I got some new blood worms like a month ago. And they're not dehydrated, they're freeze-dried, so they're a lot more firm, and they're more like real worms, so I think Pence likes those a lot more. Why is it not focusing? And you probably noticed this humongous water bottle, and it's giant. Um, I believe it's 33.2 ounces or something like that. Holds so much water, and my mom thought it would be a good idea to get it because we'll have to change it a lot less, and I know you still need to clean them pretty often. Um, but this one's a pain to fill up because it runs out so fast. And we also needed another water bottle because our glass one wouldn't stop leaking. So every day when I woke up, because I usually refill the water bottles in the night, so every day <laughs> when I woke up, I would find an empty water bottle with the bedding under it soaking wet. So it wasn't a very good bottle. Need to get that piece of apple. So I need to finish the apple. And if you're wondering where the guinea pig's litter box went, well, I gave it to somebody who really needed it. And it is now Todd's litter box, and I'm going to open up the cage so you can see it. And I just filled it with sand, and he loves sand. He 
sometimes rolls in it, kind of like how dwarf hamsters do, and he just kind of likes to run around in it, and he always spazzes out every time he goes in it. Um, but he only had a little tiny sandish, so he loves the litter box, and he loves his sand, and he um, pees in there, which is pretty good, so that he doesn't have soggy bedding. Yeah, this was just a short updates vlog. The next video, I will do maybe one about building Lincoln's um, enclosure. I remembered the word. <laughs> or um, Gigi's gotcha day. So I can't wait um, for Gigi's gotcha day, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.